lots of three guarding and spawning in the top left hand side of the map it is for the shopify rebellion he, does he have, does he even have a nickname Bjorn. i don't think so actually. yeah i was trying to think of a nick of his nickname but i don't yeah yeah and on the bottom right also whose nickname i cannot recall it is team nv's bunny well he's known as the best player ever to be named after an animal in the history of starcraft 2 that's huge there's a lot of them yeah not to co not to be confused with danish bunny who used to play for team liquid not to be confused with danish bunny this is korean bunny so on average probably a little bit shorter as uh, danes are also pretty tall i would imagine and speaking of height, look at Bjorn being cheeky, going for a proxy reaper, which, by the way, might actually just win the game. Do because tell. if you look at what Bunny is doing, he's going one gas expand with no SV scouts. We lost. If you're on team Basically, he lost. And what, what's, what's going to have to happen is Bjorn is going to have to mess up his micro colossally in order to lose this game. Like, maybe lose the first Reaper to Bunny's first Reaper somehow. But yeah, this is really bad. First of all, Bunny is going to make a CC that he won't be able to defend. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to have to cancel it and start a factory that is super delayed. Yep. Not going to be any Hellions for a while. That CC will never go up. Here come the boom. As the factory does begin... And Bian rallies his first, doesn't rally his first Reaper just yet. Maybe wiser even to wait for the second Reaper, especially having not been scouted. We'll have time to delay the CC and... You know, oh, okay. Bunny will scout. Does this do anything for him, Diego? Uh, Not much. I mean, it gives him a little bit more time to react, to like cancel the CC and maybe pull SCVs. But still, look at how much HP he lost on the Reaper. That makes it even harder for him to fight together with the SCVs. He has to be extra careful not to lose the reaper if he loses the reaper it's instantly game over yeah so he's gonna wait for the marine go together yeah and lose this is it. okay and on the bright side for bunny at least he managed to to finish his factory without any delays right like the the reapers weren't able to get on top of the scb building the factory and maybe if he can get this hellion out that'll be enough to stall the aggression from beyond who is continuing mm. to to uh, to produce reapers here? Is there a stopping point for Bian, or is he looking for a kill 100%? He definitely can stop if he feels like he lost too many reapers. But so far, he hasn't lost a single one, so there's nothing for him to be afraid of. Now he loses one, but he kills a marine at least in exchange. We'll kills the second though. one. Yeah, second reaper will go down. That grenade actually keeps Bunny's reaper to his own surprise alive. It feels like he stopped microing, and then he was like, "Oh, you're alive." And now the Hellion's chasing after, trying to bait with the HP of that Reaper. A Hellion will go down in the process, but hmm. not unexchanged for a Reaper. So, Bunny, 16 SCVs to 24, will get started with his second CC a little bit faster than Bian, and is safe for the time being. So, how far ahead is Bian here? I would give him a, like 80, 20 at least, because he has so many more SCVs, and... His factory is not even uh, delayed or anything. It's just that he opted to go into a cyclone first. Mm -hmm. So, sure, Bunny had a faster factory, but those were only good for making Hellions. Even his cyclone is later than Beyond's actual cyclone, which is the unit that really matters uh, after after the early game. So, yeah, let's see if this Reaper start. can accomplish something on the other side for Bunny, as the Reapers of Beyond are kind of out of position. He will, at the very least, get a full scout and also be able to cause a little bit of a delay onto the starport, but the Cyclone will, will promptly get rid of that. So at least gathering full information is going to be Bunny. Four Reapers, probably not enough to contend with this, especially not now that the Cyclone has arrived. And uh, yeah, also beyond dropping the expansion on the low ground means that even though his, his, second, his second CC was a little bit later, he's going to start mining probably even before bunny can and, and taking uh reaping the benefits of having it on the low, low ground earlier right so what does bunny need to do here Diego? what do you do well first of all he needs to make sure he doesn't lose any more scvs and he also needs to trade exceptionally well for starters these four reapers and one cyclone 
he's going to have to micro particularly well against them so that he is able to at least secure his natural. Yeah, maybe he can be sneaky with this Widow Mine as Bian does concede some room here at the front. Is there a reason for Bian to back away like he did here? Or like what is he fearful of? Pulling back the Reapers all the way and kind of easing up on that contain. Obviously he doesn't know about the Widow Mine so maybe any other unit like a second cyclone would have been threatening or maybe he just wanted to do this drop no matter what uh, i think he he wanted to do the job and maybe him sending the reapers was uh, just trying to simplify things a little bit also make sure that the hellions that he scouted before don't actually run oh, by oh no miss banshee is gonna spawn at a very very bad position and actually does not fix the rally bunny which means that the banshee will fall the reapers will come back for second servings as well at the natural base expansion but since they had to come all the way back from home they're going to be a little bit late to uh, to accomplish any tasks still the cyclones are doing a lot of damage and this is just piling up onto a already hurt bunny yeah this is really brutal as he locks on to the cyclone i mean he might be able to get the medivac but uh the lock on breaks and he kills the hellions and he can even win against the cycle if he just oh. hits it one more time. But at least in the natural, the tank was able to defend against the Reapers without taking any damage. So he's going to stabilize, but at what cost? I mean, behind this Beyond already finished his third base. He has double or triple barracks production. Oh, no. Oh, no. So what if you're bunny now? Do you just produce tanks and hope that your opponent runs into you? Like slowly expand and, and try to drag this game? Doesn't feel like he has any aggressive potential in the in the near future. Yeah, it's not like he can pull SCVs and counterattack, you know. He would just get completely obliterated. So all he can do is start his Giga late third and just play from super behind and hope that beyond like move commands or something into his tanks or makes a massive blunder like trying to drop into the widow mine. Just yeah. He's gonna need a couple of lucky breaks in this game to get back. And by a couple I mean big ones all right let's see if he's gonna be able to accomplish anything the supply i mean it's not too bad here as the cyclone will lock onto a raven the raven will provide vision that means not even a scan will be oh. necessary and that is painful he can't catch a break oh bunny that's yeah. just brutal it's kind of that snowball effect as well right like you feel like you're behind you're actively trying to take some risks Trying to make something happen with the energy of the Raven. Trying to not be too conservative. Create some openings for you to come back in the game. But instead, it just piles and piles against you. And beyond doing a, a good thing here, which is to show restraint. Normally, he is very eager to be the aggressor. But I think recognizing that he is so far ahead, he's just chilling for now. As I say that, he does move out. Yeah. Like the what, what Bunny I guess is hoping for is he has a tank count. Uh, if Beyond, for example, walks into a tank line without scouting ahead and maybe delaying his matrixes a little bit, then he might get a few pot shots in on Beyond's army. But like Beyond is, he's a smart player. He already sent a marine ahead. He saw everything. He's being very cautious, clearing uh, the map with cyclones. He's not going to make silly mistakes like that that might cost him the game, so... Yeah, opening the map as well. Has a drop ready to go into the main if he wants to, and, and at the same time he can still siege the natural expansion. There is that Widow Mine somewhere in the main, but Ravens are going to give a heads up there. Lots of auto turrets are going to go down just to secure the load off for Bian. All of the Raven energy has been utilized, but that doesn't matter too much if there's no siege tanks here for Bunny to defend. In the very back, there is a siege tank. There is now three, but one of them gets picked off. The most important one, the one that had a position to maybe hold onto his main. And now it's a slow crawl to just to dislodge this. The Widowmind does wonderful work onto the Marines, but still tanks mostly unaccounted for. Scans on either side will reveal the tanks and Bunny will actually take the better trade there. But the Marines are just suiciding in a single file against the other two tanks and the mineral line has been ravaged bunny will gg in korean and english for all to understand that he is out of this. <laughs> thank you bilingual bunny thank you bilingual bunny yeah i mean th that was just a rough game i mean he gambled and he paid the price for it i'm not sure what triggered his decision to to go for a one racks expand without scouting 
but maybe he just felt like he wasn't good enough for Bunny uh, or for Bion. And meanwhile, Bion saying in the interview that he thought he wasn't good enough for Bunny. So, really uh, an interesting uh, dynamic we have going on the series. Yeah, I, I guess both players taking a risk of sorts, right? Like different ends of the spectrum as far as risks, one being overly greedy, one being overly aggressive. And overaggression will punish over greed every time. So uh, yeah, unlucky draw there from uh, Bunny and well chosen strategy for Beyond. Pretty much a build order win there. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, let's see how's that gonna affect the decision making for for the builds um, in the second game because it is gonna be a slightly bigger map, Ancient Cistern, of course. Uh, as Beyond asks for a two minute bathroom break. He didn't so much ask, he announced. I feel like <laughs> if he had asked, I would have been like, no. We've been waiting for so long, Diego. Unbelievable. <laughs> of course, he comes He comes back from the stage, a series, you know, like a very, very busy day for a player. To yeah. Play. You know, when I asked for a bathroom break in the best of three at yeah. last year's Katowice, they said no. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, you should have just stood up and been like, I need to go to the bathroom, so... Yeah. yeah, I don't feel. I, I feel like I can't get away with it like the Koreans do, you know. And then they. I mean, they can't they get say called no. out on they it. They can't say they no like to a bathroom break. Feign language barrier, like oh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. I I need. To no, go no, to no, 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 no. <laughs> Diego, if someone says you can't have a bathroom break, you are like, uh, I can and I will have a bathroom break because nature calls. You gotta go. You know, like if you gotta go, you gotta go. It's not. <laughs> it's not something. That it's yeah. It's not. Or otherwise, in the interview, you should have been like, yeah, I mean, yeah, the, you know, the ESL admins didn't allow for a bathroom break. So it was a rough one. And uh, yeah, peed myself if, if you must drop it in there. It's just uh, indeed, indeed. Crazy. I'll, I'll keep that in mind for the next. Uh... You do not get denied bathroom <laughs> breaks, Diego. You call me. You, you'll be like, I'm going to call a lawyer. You just call me. I pretend to be a lawyer. <laughs> And I'll be like, my client wants a bathroom break. Take me to your leader. The doors open. And of course, behind the scenes is Lambo. That's why you got denied the bathroom break. It was the circle all along behind the scenes. But uh, yeah, Thanks. it's going to be Beyond versus Money game two. Beyond leading the series a zero or one zero. And we are going to Ancient Sisters. Ancient sisters, Ancient wait, cistern, cisterns, cisterns? or cistern, 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 because we, I remember we Googled this in the first day and it meant yeah, like yeah, for sure. we know it's a water, a container. water container. Mm -hmm. That much is known, Diego, as we are already loading into ancient cistern. Game number two with Bunny down 1 0. The score is fixed. Bian is a 1 0 and it's starting in the top right hand side of the map. It is for Team Envy. Bunny Rabbit! And on the bottom left side, once again, deciding for a proxy, but a similar kind of proxy this time. It is. Bion Hyun Woo. You were going to say a Arabian. different that kind of proxy and then you had to adapt on the fly as you saw the second CV. Yeah. What did you think it was going to be? Marauder? Yeah, if it's one SCV, it's always Marauder. Oh, it could be proxy one Rex Reaper as well, but that one's not too common. All right. So Bion, Relentless here. Going to go for the, for the double trouble, the double proxy Rex Reapers once again. And uh, Bunny still not with a scout, at least not for the now, and uh, double gas this time. So he should be a little bit quicker to that factory, and uh, should be planning on delaying that CC on the low ground. Both good things against mm. this particular attack. Yeah, so not not scouting against Proxy Reaper with with two gas. Of course, it's still not ideal. Uh, the, the most ideal thing is actually to scout it, but at least with two gas, you have a fighting chance of defending it. Um, so this has the potential to be way better for Bunny 
So it's all gonna come down to how soon he sees those uh, Reapers coming. Uh, hopefully he is also able to spot the barracks. I'm not sure what path he usually takes with his uh, Reaper. But yeah, as long as he is able to pull SCVs in time and fight well with the Reaper, then he should be okay here still. Yeah, it's gonna come down to reaction time. I have to imagine that th that this is gonna avoid the natural path of the Reaper. No, maybe not. The Reaper is... Oh, it's scouting to the right. Okay, now it reroutes. It will see this other Reaper of Vian. Both players very quick to react. Renate go down on either side. Bunny actually, I think, has the slight edge Wow. There. And he will get to the high ground! Oh, no. No. He will not. I it mean, is a complete yeah. disaster. It's a complete disaster on the back of on the back of pathing, right? If there was a jumping spot like one hex to the left, he would have been fine. But the map is new, and so he's not used to exactly the entry point. And 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 as a result, he clicks up the ramp, and his reaper goes a little bit more diagonally diagonally than he would have liked. That nets uh, beyond the the distance, basically to engage onto it and kill it and now the Ooh. second reaper also going down but a marine is out here to help the helion beautiful create the grenade will actually bounce the helion away and defend beyond's reapers for now so good start for beyond still yeah i mean what saved bunny there was that the helion actually got a triple shot on the on the on the helion so Ooh. nice really kept the reapers low health there and actually maybe he'll be able oh. to stabilize still yeah, I mean, that if that next Reaper at least fall, if that Helion maybe could have gotten repaired a second later or a second earlier, there is a few things, a few details that have gone in the favor of Bian here. The game is not over. Um, not even near over as compared to the last game, but Bian definitely with some edges, right? Indeed, indeed. I mean, you, you can you can even see that, uh, <laughs> at least with the two guys, even losing the first Reaper, he still had a, a much bigger shot. Um, what are the advantages for Beyond in this case? I mean, he still has the faster uh, Cyclone, for example. And I think he also gets to build your CC in the natural, which is also means you can mine from it faster. But Bunny also has his advantages this game, for example, the faster CC and starboard. So Oops. it's not terrible for him either. Yeah, bit of a misclick there from Bian. Sending those Reapers to the top is gonna net the Helions a good shot. But now one of the Helions getting sniped and trying to protect his supply depot. I feel like he should have lowered it a little bit earlier so he could have maneuvered a little bit a little bit better. Now he does. But uh, Bian is just on killing mode for now with the Reapers. A Cyclone is gonna be very nice for uh, Bunny to stabilize here. Do not want to use the lock-on onto that barracks. If he does, I'm sure Bian will pounce on that opportunity. Yep. Uh, also, we got a request for a Control Shift O to hide the camera overlay on the stream. Got him. But he's actually gonna jump up together with the lock on. What a play, actually, with the Cyclone Beyond. With the playmaker actually not afraid to jump there with the Reaper. Really great micro. I mean, this is really what the guy is known for, right? Second yeah, Cyclone, I, I of course, is gonna be able to defend. Lock on onto Oh, wow, that grenade saves his Cyclone. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful grenade. Yeah, so what happened was he used the cyclone below the main to lock on to the cyclone in the main. Oh, I see. I see. Really beautiful stuff. And now that actually opens up a drop for with the, with the two cyclones, except one of them is going to be really damaged. So I don't expect this will do and a yet. lot. And Dian, I mean, a little bit of a daredevil here. Going to suicide both of the cyclones as a result. He takes one down with him, but the medevac will also fall. So... A good little bit of uh, damage there from Bunny, as he also has to use a defensive turret to fend off the, the other flank. The Reapers do manage to delay the CC a little bit further even via killing the SCV building it, but Bunny will stabilize. By that, I mean it. He's still in a little bit of trouble here. Economically speaking, he is nine workers behind. Both players are working on their third command center. Both players have their natural situated. In terms of production, uh, I, I mean... They look fairly even. Bian has already invested into a couple of extra gases in his natural base, though. So, and now, and now is faster to the extra barracks as well. So, definitely advantages for Bian here, despite the supply being so even. Yeah, I mean, the the way that you're gonna see the SCV count uh, show its 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 advantage for Bian here is how much faster his extra oh, barracks wow. are gonna be. 
Like, I he already to. has five barracks on the way. But look at this. Bunny's a uh, madman, an animal. I love it. I wear it. Aww. Four CC. Well, also, I do like it. And he, do he does need something to, you know, catch up in this game somehow. His production is going to be so late. His army will be really quite weak. So I wonder if he's just going to opt to stay on two bases for a bit longer. I feel like you need to secure the three bases as often as, as early as possible. It can't be that big of a of a giveaway, I think, in, in just staying in the two bases. And you're going to need that third base at some point, right? So maybe just start throwing the tanks out there. A scan from Beyond will reveal mostly the army of Bunny, but luckily for Bunny, his production is not revealed, which might be the green light for, for Beyond to go ahead and kill him. Two Reapers are scouting about on the map. Please don't tell me, Diego, that they have any shot of finding this base. Mm, I, will, I would find it very unlikely, but if it did, then definitely would call VAC on this. VAC. But, yeah, the, the reason why I think it's risky for him to try and take the third base is not because it would give away the hidden base, but also because it really opens himself for aggression, like drops as soon as the stim is out. Like, Bjorn is, one, is going to want to amplify his advantage and be aggressive out on the map. Oh. Interesting decision to try and fly over the turret. Doesn't really pan out. Gets yeah. a reactor at least. Will he? Dian has the option to repair it. Will he get there in time? Ooh. Oof. Does get the reactor. Does not make you a liar. That was about the third now at least. And what, what does Bunny follow this up with? I guess he just goes for very delayed... Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm really surprised that there's any stoppage in the tank production. I feel like if you're gonna be this greedy, if you're gonna be cutting, uh, you know, production, the one, the one thing that you should probably get is those anchors in the tanks and just try to set up a defense that's very difficult to breach with with those because you're not gonna contend in the marine numbers, surely, right? Yeah. No, uh oh, Houston, we have uh, two zero by the looks of it. I mean, there's a lot of Vikings here. They're going to land, but it's not going to be enough by the looks of it. And Bunny will GG. 